So, uh, a quick narrative to accompany this game. Um, I, I, I got my first PlayStation 1 in 1997 when I turned 11. Uh, that PlayStation came with a demo disc, which they don't seem to do anymore for some reason. It had a lot of wonderful demos on it, including Crash Bandicoot 1, mm. which is not what we're playing. And a few other games which really showed me what a leap forward the PlayStation was over, say, the Sega Genesis, which was the most advanced console I had at the time. Um, it also had this little game on it. I have no idea. I'm trying to think back to Demo Disc and what yeah. could have been on there and what could be similar to Captain Toad or at least remind you of it. Mm -hmm. and, and the only thing I can think of is a really old game on the NES that you're like this little wizard that walks around in an isometric world mm -hmm. and you can like hide in your hat and you like walk really slow yeah and it actually reminds me a lot of how captain toad is but i, I can uh -huh. never for the life of me remember the name of this game oh that's an old activision logo Holy look at that crap. look at the v whoa look at that look at the water man oh. look at that fucking cloud dot jpeg <laughs> who is this atd who the fuck are you is that an angry eye i think it's an angry eye what the fuck Fuck is this? Remember when I was every character on the PS1? Bomb activated! <laughs> Remember how they were all this? Just muscular dude in <laughs> Wow! Shiny armor? This is PS1 as fuck. You know what though? I it still ain't bad. No? It's goofy as fuck, uh -huh. but looking back on it after all these years, yeah. it isn't the worst. This couldn't have been any later than 97, so good on them for managing even this. Oh, that same fire effect, you see? Oh! 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 Look at that waveform! Okay, now that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. I'm speaking purely on the 3D uh, models and yeah. the animation. <laughs> well... Oh. They had to, uh, they had to save budget somewhere. Uh, wow, it still hasn't showed the game title. Uh, Blast Chamber! What the fuck is Blast Chamber? Is this like <laughs> Bomberman? Kind of. A little bit. A little bit like Bomberman. Oh, wow. Games. Is X not select? I, I, I hit X. What? What? Uh, Choose a game, free for all. Okay, I see. This allows you to select the mode, but it takes you back to oh, the main menu. Oh, wow! That, that is, is weird. Okay, chain buzz. Let's see here. So that, my friends, is the difference between user interface and user experience. Yeah, let's see. Chamber 101, <laughs> I guess, because I... Oh, and then you can select which order it'll put you in? Okay, that's cool. Like, we can go chamber 1, then 2, then 3. Awesome. Uh, exit. Okay. Now, how the fuck do I start? Oh, start. Um. Player. <laughs> be uh, be cool. Be cool. Uh, yellow guy. Yellow guy. I don't know. Red guy. Red guy's kind of cool. You know what? But he probably doesn't have a lot of contrast, right? Because everything's all yeah. explodey and red. Yeah. I don't know. Blue would contrast probably a lot. Or uh, green. player. Now, how do I select anyone else? Oh my god. Select. Maybe, maybe? you can't. I, I probably can't. <laughs> player. Okay, oh, here we go. Select wow. Okay. Once again. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Use Ooh. U I U X. <laughs> oh, jeez. This, this is that '96 shit. This is some... what. What y'all Minecraft kids know about '96? Huh? God. What, what do you know about clouds, goat hands? Huh? What the fuck is this like? Smash what? TV? Yeah. Kind of. What the hell? Oh, but this is kind of cool. Because yeah, I don't know what the hell you're doing. You're basically trying to. I think you're trying. You're trying to get. If I remember correctly, you're trying to get a bomb, and then bring it to your color. But uh, and then if you do that, it blows up and kills everyone else. I uh, do you punch people? Is that what's going on? I'm trying to figure that out. Um, you jump. How, do you just run into each other to I, initiate an attack? Maybe. It's what? unclear. So, okay, I think you blow. I think you you bring it to your. <laughs> <laughs> you, <Yeah! laughs> 
Okay, yeah, you're trying to bring it to yours, and it seems like you blow up, and then you get a point when you die. Oh, I think you bring it to someone else's color, and then they have a few seconds to get it away, and then they blow up, and then you get a death against you, so it's like golf. So I'm looking at this game as uh, somebody coming up to you and going, all right, we have this console. It's a home uh, computer, like, gaming system. We can render 3D graphics. Yeah. Make something that shows that. And it's like, all right, how about a cube? Okay, wait. Spins around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it now. Okay, you have a timer, right? I think you need to get it to your goal before the timer goes off, or else then you explode. I think. Do you take, do you take it from someone or give it to someone? You can. It's, there must be a way to take it from people. I think. Or if you bring to someone else's goal, it takes time from them. Huh. These yeah. are actually interesting mechanics. I, I am completely confused. It is confusing. At this. It's very confusing. So I... Oh, come on. I want to score a damn point. I wonder if uh, the demo disc was a, a product of just purely getting people acquainted with the new technology and oh. not so much the games. I, I, I bet it was... I have a feeling it was both, because you, you want you want people to see, you know, what you have for sale, but yeah, you also want them to, uh, okay, so yeah, bringing it to yours gives you extra time, and then while you're holding it, it freezes your clock. Huh, cool. So bring it to mine, Like, I wonder, I wonder if VR will essentially have demo disc, you know yeah. what I mean? It won't be a disc, but like just a, you would think it would benefit, right? Just it would show, benefit, because then you could get, off, yeah, just a broad slice do. of, you know, this is what you can experience. Yeah, just a broad demonstration of what you can do for free. Um, instead of doing that, they're just selling you full games, though. Like, you ought to know what it be, is like to play VR. It's like, but I don't, so I'm not going, going to. Well, here, buy E Valkyrie. <laughs> what? Okay. Wow, there's no one playing this, though. Wow. VR. And VR, I, VR. I had to tell Steam by changing my settings to not show me VR stuff. Uh -huh. So I was like, I don't <laughs> care. Hmm. I could hear that uh, disk drive working. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Remember those days? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> See the other level. Because that's, 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 that's Blast Chamber 101. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is Greens. God, my favorite videos. Uh, from the PS1 era were the ones in, um, what's it called? Future Cop? Cop or LAPD? <laughs> um, you were like an LAPD cop, but you were in a mech for some reason. Oh. God, this, I, this game was on my PS1 demo disc when I was 11 years old, and I never forgot it. I never knew if it was good. I assumed it wasn't. But because I never, never forgot about it. How do you run? <laughs> Square, I guess. What? But because I never forgot about it, it was one of those games I hunted down when I finally had money, and then I found it at a GameStop. Yes. How much did you pay for it? Not much. I don't remember how much, but not much. <laughs> they probably bought it from someone used for like twenty-seven cents and sold you for three bucks. Probably, yeah. It would have been better if I had just gone to eBay or fucking uh, a burgeoning Craigslist and then like, who does Blast Chamber? And then someone's like, me. I'm like, two dollars. And they go, yes. That's how you do business on Craigslist. Except on Craigslist, you go, hey bro, what if I trade you the Smash Mouth CD, uh -huh. five sweaters, <laughs> and a DVD of <laughs> as good as it gets starring Jack Nicholson. Uh, you know, I, I might have to do that because there is, I realize there is one more PS1 game I need to get. Huh. Uh, I, Intelligence Cube. Never heard of that. What it was, oh, is, it was a puzzle game. Uh, isometric perspective. You were on a platform. It, like four squares wide mm -hmm. or so there are a series of um, cubes rolling toward you mm. and you need to activate them in a certain order to basically make them disintegrate um, but there, there are various things like I, I think they're you know color coded and so you chain them together and mm, you get power ups to blow up different ones. It, Do like it, a good puzzle game. It, it, it's, you know, yeah, there's a whole puzzle element to it. 
And those, these cubes are Why? rolling toward you, uh, basically. And so if you don't take care of it in time, then you'll get pushed off the platform. That sounds really familiar. Yeah. You, you, I think it was also available on a demo disc. Maybe even this one. I remember an old game that was like these different shapes <laughs> flopping their way towards um, you. There may have been other shapes as well. I don't remember. I only ever played a demo of it. And I, I remember when I was on the road with my dad which was after I got my PlayStation, but while we were still in the trailer, so I, I couldn't have been... I, I could have only been 12 or 13 years old, which means it was 98 or 99. Um, I remember we were in a Walmart or something at, in some fucking uh, flyover state, and they had uh, Intelligence Cube in their, their game case. Mm -hmm. And it had been out for a couple of years. It was probably only, you know, 10 or 15 bucks. Yeah. But because of who I am, I just didn't ask for it. Mm -hmm. You know, and we, we went along. Winner. And I, I didn't think about it again until yesterday. I went to Amazon. I'm like, I wonder. And I looked it up. The only copy there was $199. Oh. I can probably find it for a lot less if I can find it at a store somewhere. Because yeah. also, on Amazon, if you look up... Um, Eternal Champions for the the, the Genesis. Mm -hmm. There, it's also two or three hundred bucks. But Jeez. I found that at Pink Gorilla for five. Oh, yeah. So I think it's just no one else is selling it. So whoever's on Amazon is like, yeah, I can get away with this. How uh, how many part like this kind? Of, this reminds me of a lot of current like party games. Uh -huh. Were there many games like this before this that you can think of? Um, like, cause no, I think I think the N sixty four and the PlayStation were really the advent of the the party game, where you just had multiple people playing simultaneously um, against each other in some kind of you know sporty fashion. I mean, before that, you had you did have various sports games on the NES and the Genesis. But those were always sports games. Mm. They were never like a part, like a mess, like. Yeah, you like didn't have games goofy, like a mess. Wacky like you didn't mess. have as far as I know, you didn't really have things like Mario Party or like this shit. Uh you know, but 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 then with the sixty four you obviously had Mario Party and then you had a number of other games like Crash Bash, which unfortunately we were unable to play, which I should acquire a copy of. At some yeah, point. that was a bummer that we because uh, it might actually be fun. I know, we, like we just, that'd be the most fucked up thing is if it's a fun Crash Bandicoot party game that you just can play. Just definitely reminded me of that feeling of want having all this data on a disc yeah. you can't access and be yeah. like, oh, why? Why like, did it have to get scratched? Like, I bet I can pop you onto a, a CD drive and just rip you right off of that disc, though. Yeah, I bet I can do that because a PlayStation Two or higher can read my fucked up Final Fantasy VIII disc. <laughs> PS1 camp. Although we were playing that on PS3, that's right. And it was so fucked up. Mm. Yeah, this reminds me of like a lot of games that I. Uh, there's, there's this one game that I downloaded for my phone. You're just these little things, and you're on a platform, and you punch each other and throw bombs at each yeah. other. And then there's a, I think a game that Double Fine made, where you're just like these kind of blob-like creatures. Uh -huh. An arena style fighting game where you like throw each other around and yeah, it's it's neat to see a really early version of this sort of multiplayer party yeah. wacky ass fucking you know when we were really party. yeah when we were really starting to when you finally had consoles with the power to uh, have multiple people acting independently of one another at the same time like this is a four player game obviously. Mm. <laughs> and there were there were four player games before the the PlayStation era, just certainly not many. But yeah, then this and the sixty four, especially the sixty four, yeah. having four slots and fucking golden yeah. eye, of all things, that was really the advent of it. I there, mean, there was that splitter accessory you could get for the SNES, right? Maybe. I remember a splitter for the PS1. There was probably one for the, the SNES, because I think there were four-player games for it. I just can't think of any off the top of my head. I can. I know that Secret of Mana could be a three-player game, so... So there yeah. must have been a splitter accessory, yeah. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys! How does this work? This is terrible. Wait, wait, wait. Two games I need to get. Um... Intelligence Cube. And... 
oh god what was the name of the other one i, for, I suddenly forget the name of the other one but basically it was an isome a lot yeah, of isometric games yeah. back then <laughs> isometric uh shooter where you're where you were playing as um mental patients huh like really cartoony um, almost offensive stereotype mental patients. <laughs> like one of them carried around a, a teddy bear that he would throw and it would explode. Oh my, that sounds really familiar. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure you've seen it. I just can't remember what it was called. Huh. So many weird PS1 so games. So many weird PS1 games. Like tons of them. I remember having fun with most of them. Yeah. If, if I wish Pink Gorilla was bigger. So that it would draw more attention, so it would just mm. have a greater stock than it does. We should take a trip out to Bellevue and check out that one. Yeah, I, I didn't realize there were multiple pink gorillas, but mm. yeah, I should. Oh, well, I think that's good for uh, Blast Chamber. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to take a quick look yeah, at that's, it. That's it's, it's, interesting. It's yeah. an oddity that I just completely forgot that I own. No, it's it's really cool to see yeah. the, uh, like I said, the beginnings uh -huh. of this sort of, this... I mean, this reminds me of so... Like, even uh, Towerfall, you yeah. know, like, shit like that. Just, yeah, yeah. It's This is cool. Uh -huh. All right, time to pop this out. Put Crash 3 back in. <laughs> oh, man. I love Crash Bandicoot 3 so much. Is that just what you've been playing lately? Or? That's just what I've... Well, Captain Toad, obviously. And, and, and uh... Overwatch. You don't want to take another quick look at some other random... Uh, yeah. We can do that. We have time. Just Let's pull, see what I got. Pull something out. And... We'll be right back. Uh, in like two days if you're watching this <laughs> or immediately if you're watching this after uh, this has gone up Because for some reason we've blown up at some point and you're going yeah. back through our backlog Because Jeremy finally did his yeah, fucking job. Yeah, did his fucking job and then we went to PAX and just flipped like business cards at people Yeah, and they're like what's CDP LTD and now we have this whole business and I have a house with a room just dedicated to holding our shirts. And we have smoking jackets and leather chairs. And we just drink all day. All day. And cackle. Uh-huh. <laughs> cackle. <laughs> At you people buying our shirts with pictures of Riggs and Negredo's dumb faces on them. While we drink between bottom and mid-shelf alcohol. Because, look, I'm not going to waste <laughs> a bunch of money on good alcohol. But look, mid-shelf is all I need, okay? I'm not full of myself. I'm not. But I'm also not a peasant. Yeah. Obviously, at this point, whoever's watching this, we have all the YouTube money. Yeah. So, I'm not a peasant, but I'm not fooling myself. I'm good with mid-shelf. Anyway. <laughs> so